Hello and welcome back. Today we are talking about debugging observable streams. At some point in our Angular developer life, we get to the point where we have a bug in our RxJS streams. To find the bug, we normally use a combination of tab and console log statement to see if the stream emits with the correct date. This is very time consuming. You have to write it over and over again. That's not very fancy. I like to move it, move it. And as we are developers who create fancy stuff, we extract the functionality into an own function. We create the new RxJS operator in our shared module. There we create a new folder which we name utils and inside this folder we create a new file called log-observable.ts. Inside this new file we declare a new function which we export directly and we call this function log-observable. This function gets a generic which is of the type t. We add a parameter which we name prefix and we initialize it directly with the string emit. The return type is of the type monotype operator function, which gets the generic t we declared earlier. Inside the function, we return a new function with the arrow notation. This function gets the source observable as input and just calls typical tab and console log combination for us. Now we can use the operator function we created inside our observable stream of the component. For example, we can call the function before and after the map operator of our stream to see if the stream emits and if it maps the data correctly. When we now switch to the console, we see the typical console log statement in the console without writing these lines of code over and over again. You want to improve your programming skills? Then subscribe to the channel and click the bell. Bing.